Hello again, this is Al. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. So in today's video, we'll talk about how profitable is owning an assistant living facility or business? Get this question all the time. Now, I am a third generation assistant living administrator or caregiver. Uh, my family has been in business since 1963. We own several facilities and always get this question. How much money can you make running an assistant living facility? Now, on the flip side of that, yes, has great earning potential. You can make lots of money. But on the flip side of that, you have to care. You have to have tough skin. You have to be a visionary. You have to see problems before they happen. You will earn every penny of that money. You see the gray hair and the goatee. You see the bald head. So you can see what the industry has done to me. <laughs> I just want you to remember, yes, you have lots of income potential here. However, you will have to work for that money. You will have to earn that money. You're dealing with fragile individuals. You're dealing with individuals with different diagnoses. And you definitely have to care. You have to be a caregiver and you have to love taking care of people. So again, you know what we do here. Let's share the screen and let's go. So again, this video is on how profitable is owning a senior living business. So let's go to the next screen and let's look at some figures. So again, in the state of North Carolina, if you own a seven plus bed facility, it is licensed as assistant living as an assistant living facility. So anything seven plus beds in the state of North Carolina is a, an assistant living facility. Now, if your residents receive Medicaid, Social Security or VA benefits, you can get up to $2,000 to $3,000 per bed per resident. So that is an assistant living facility licensed in the state of North Carolina, that is seven plus beds. That can be 50 beds, 100 beds, 20 beds, eight beds. But if it's seven plus beds, it's an assistant living facility. Now on the flip side, you have a family care home in the state of North Carolina. Anything licensed from one to six beds is considered a family care home. Now, if your residents receive Medicaid, Social Security, or VA benefits, you can earn again up to $2,000, $3,000 per bed per resident. On a lower spectrum, you're looking at $1,500 per bed per resident. Just depends on the resident's benefits. Now you have dementia facilities or units. There are a lot of facilities, and there are a lot because dementia residents have a tendency to wonder. Now, if you have Medicaid, Social Security, or VA residents who have those benefits, you can earn up to five to $6,000 per bed per resident. So now that is dementia facilities or units. Now, on the flip side, you can have an assistant living and family care home that tailors to private pay residents only. You can earn up to $6,000 to $10,000 per resident per bed. Now, these residents have either sole assets or they have long-term care insurance where they can afford to pay upwards of $6,000 to $10,000 plus for a private setting or a private facility or residence. So again, if you were to start any of one of these facilities, I would suggest starting a family care home and one to six private residents. Your earning potential is better because you have the potential to earn up to $6,000, $10,000 plus per resident, and you have lower overhead, food costs, building costs, labor costs, and you have more earning potential per bed. So again, also, if you do a family care homes, so you can do clusters. You can do a one to six bed here, and then you can open up another facility for one to six beds, and you can duplicate that. So you can have three to five to six, 10 individual family care homes tailoring to only private pay residents. So your earning potential is very good here. 
So again, this has been a video on the income potential of owning a senior living facility. This is Al. I hope this information helps someone. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, you guys take care. I will talk to you soon and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.